Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. You can see the suspect has 12 kills, and this is the 12th round. So he's doing pretty good with about 103 damage around, making his way over. Ooh, nice headshot with the scout. Wow, he's getting flanked here, though. Let's see if he knows that the flank's coming in. There was like a little B-hop there, but not enough that I'm going to say that's a B-hop strip. Maybe just a nice lucky hop. One guy is flanking over towards B. His teammate's going to shoot him in the face. It looks like he's going to want to shoot his teammate in the face. Is he actually going to do it? This is the question. No, but he's threatening him. He's like, you shoot me again, and I will shoot you, man. Either way, one guy in market just kind of flanking behind. Might do quite a bit of damage here, actually. And there is one guy in palace. Salmon's able to take down Frog. And that's just going to leave one guy left in palace. Let's see if the suspect knows he's there or decides to go check it. Keeps spamming back towards Connector. And it looks like Flute's going to take down Banjo with a knife kill. So, so far, Flute's got the most kills with 18. Looks like a couple of hops there from the suspect. I think he's using a B-hop script. I mean, it's not enough hops to really say anything because people can do two hops pretty often. But he is able to hit another headshot with the scout. And things are looking very, very suspicious. Gonna be making his way over here towards the A site, which they have taken. And the last two CTs are rotating over through CT spawn. One guy is making his way towards window. Actually, both are making their way towards window. And it looks like Cat's going to take down one. Cat pushes and takes down Frog as well. The score is now 11 to 2. There's a knife. But uh, it was after the round. Nothing I'm going to report at this point. Didn't kill his teammate. Didn't hinder them from losing the round. And it looks like it's not persisting. Looks like they're just like, hey, we're dominating the other team. Let's be silly. One guy does push up towards connector. I don't think he's using wall. I do think he's using a little bit of an aimbot, but we'll keep watching his scout and see if anything else suspicious happens. Misses his smoke in window. Oh! Destroys Calf with an instant headshot with the scout. Guy in window's gonna back off here. He's like, hey, I'm not messing with that. Screw that. I'm getting out of here. Meanwhile, the suspect here is gonna get behind Seal. Not entirely sure why. Maybe just feels like hiding for a moment. He's watching Seal. He's like, you go and execute, and I'll sit here and stare at you through the wall. Make the Overwatcher think I'm walling. Uh, he's going to make his way up. Does hit that hop again. He always seems to hit that first or first and second hop, so it's probably a good chance that he's using a B-hop script of some sort. But he's being careful not to use it too often to make it blatantly obvious. There is only one CT left. That would be Shark over there at the A site. Shark's able to take down Salmon. And of course the suspect is going to start rotating off of where he was watching and plant the bomb. I mean, this is one of those things like where uh, it looks like he's blatantly using an aim lock, but he's not using a wall hack. And because of that, I mean, anytime someone peeks out and he's watching the correct position, it's like instant headshot, instant kill. But... Then again, his timing is off. If someone's about to push, he'll sometimes look away and start going the other way right as the guy comes out. It also makes him a little bit easier to kill for the CTs, though the CTs aren't really making much headway with any of his teammates either. Flute might be cheating. It's a possibility. We don't know. We can't really watch him and tell. But either way, the other team is definitely outmatched right now. Uh, one of the reasons is that the suspect seems to be using an aim lock. Suspect's going to try to hop in here, pushing up. There is one guy at the end of B Halls. Doesn't seem to know he's there, but he heard the footsteps, so he's looking back, waiting, waiting. Pushes out, and he's able to take him down with a headshot. Picks up that Glock, and he's going to continue to push through here. Looks like Frog is actually holding it with Shark. They got a little bit of a stack. Uh, Shark's looking both ways. Gets the information, and it looks like the suspect's going to back off here. Bad situation to push into. And I think he knows it, but it looks like he's going to go for it anyways. Frog is down there right below. He's holding the angle to see if anyone decides to rotate off. He did spot out his head a little bit there, but I don't think he realized it. Here's the footsteps. Maybe he'll peek out try to get him from behind. And it looks like he didn't do it in time. Frog's going to get away here. Looking to see if there's any guns here, but he's just going to continue to move up with this Glock. And it looks like Seal's going to take down Banjo. They find themselves in a 2v2 situation. One guy here, he seems to know he's there. Maybe he heard the footsteps. 
Yeah. It'll take down Shark with the two dinks. Actually, the first shot might not have been a dink, but uh, it was pretty quick either way. <laughs> Again, it looks like an aim lock. It looks like something. There's an FOV, and within that FOV, it's just going right to the guy's face without him having to actually aim himself. Even though when he was on the stairs looking upward because of the angle, it was shooting him like in the bottom of the chin neck area, and because of that, he didn't get the instant headshot. Either way, he's able to take Heron down, and really, that, that didn't look too cheaty. The, the weirdest thing so far has definitely been what the scout and uh, the rest of this looks kind of smoother. And I guess there's like a smoothing setting with aim aimbots that makes it try to look more natural. And it seems to be accomplishing that. Looks like he's going to be holding the B-Hall push right here. One last terrorist alive making his way over here. I imagine it'll be a headshot. And it is. Good angle, honestly. I mean, you just see the top of his head, and even though the terrorist did hit the shot, I mean, he has to make a pretty insane shot just to get that kill. Of course, he didn't do quite enough damage with that. But, uh... Looks like there is an A-take hap- or a mid-take happening, able to take down Flute. Cat gets the trade kill. It is a 3v4. Now it's a 4v2. Suspect's gonna push in the window here. Kind of looks like he's aiming on the guy through the wall, but I think that's just coincidentally lined up like that. And he's going to be making his way back over here towards the B site. If the terrorists can continue to take quick entries like that, they might be able to bring this game back. But it would be very hard and tie it up. But again, they'd have to win every single round from here on out. Suspect does one of those hops again. Keeps the momentum. I think it's a script. But it has to be evident beyond reasonable doubt, and I'm not going to report it for just one hop. People can have too good of movement consistently for one hop here and there to really make me think. Now again, the aimbot is very, very obvious with the scout. His scout is on point. He hits nothing but headshots with this thing. One more making his way over here towards B-Hall's headshot. Of course it is. What else is it going to be? And there are two terrorists left, Heron and Calf. And the suspect is going to make his way over. <laughs> headshot. And one guy left. To the left of that. See if he tries to peek him. If he does, he's stupid. He needs to play in sight. Force him to push him. Talking about Heron. Oh, and there's the headshot. Alright, guys. So yeah, I don't think he's using walls. I think he is using a, a B-hop script. But even though he is, uh, he's very, very cautious with not trying to hop more than once or twice with it. And... Definitely using an aim lock. An aim bot. An aim whatever. Either way, he is locking onto people's faces with that scout. Overwatch resolution time. Let's do this. Uh, minor disruption griefing. He griefed his teammate a little bit, but not enough that I'm going to say anything about it. So insufficient evidence. It was after the round. His teammate griefed him first anyways. Uh, major disruption to other external assistance. That would be the bunny hop script thing. But again, I don't feel like it's quite enough evidence to say... That he's using one for sure. He was hitting hops here and there, and it felt like he was having a bit more acceleration than usual. So he's hitting it like absolutely perfect every time. But he was only doing like one hop. And honestly, if he had done like three or four a couple times throughout the game, I would easily report this. But since it's one hop, it is possible he could do it. Uh, because you'll see a lot of really good movement players being able to pull that off consistently. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Move our way up to vision assistance. And actually, for someone that I believe is cheating, I'm surprised that he is not using any vision assistance. From what I could tell, he was getting caught off guard, he was rotating too soon, right as someone was about to peek out. Felt like he didn't have any real extra awareness of where people were, so insufficient evidence here as well. Make our way up to major disruption aim assistance, and even though with the rifles it wasn't super evident, and with the pistols it wasn't super evident, with that scout, he needs to turn that FOV down, because that right there is definitely what got him banned. And honestly, when it comes to uh, aim locks in general, usually what is the giveaway is when they play with the scout. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to say evident beyond reasonable doubt. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.